So, Zaganan, welcome to Toronto. Yes. And welcome to freedom, although I know you think it's not quite freedom, is it, for you? <laughs> this is just a release, <laughs> not a <so> free. <laughs> How many prisoners are still uh, in the 324 political prisoners are still remaining in our country. Mm. And we have to support and we have to push the, the two kinds. The first kind is we have to uh, push the government mm -hmm. to release all unconditionally. And another thing that we have to support our political prisoners uh, because morally and financially encouragement is very important for all of our political prisoners. Mm -hmm. When you were in prison most recently, you know, I guess you were three years into that 59-year sentence, yes? Yes. Were you in solitary confinement? Yes. Uh, no. Uh, how can I say that the first six months in the solitary confinement, yeah. and next three years and two months is in a little bit, uh, how can I say, I, I have a chance to meet with uh, five or six people. Uh -huh. I, I have to... I have a chance to work on the ground, so we cannot say this is not uh, this is not a social environment. Uh, this is just a, a little bit uh, uh, freedom. Right. And were you aware while you were in prison of the support of the international community of Penn International, for example, and in Canada? Were you aware of all of that? Yes. Uh, when when I was in. Uh, in St. Prison, and I got a message from my sister-in-law, she told me uh, I got uh, some award from the bank in oh, yes. 2000. Mm -hmm. So at that time, we were very delighted. At that time, this is the real encouragement for me and all of our political prisoners. When I share my, uh, that uh, good news to all of my inmates, they are very happy. And also, I, I gave my all foods to him. <laughs> <laughs> and also, they took my shirts and they took my, uh, how can I say, they took my shirts and books oh, yes. and they took, they, they asked me to signature. Oh. And, and under my signature, this is a, uh, Mr. Ben Canada Award. <laughs> Just like that. And you've also been an honorary member of several other Penn centers in England, I think, and other centers. And last year you got an award from the uh, Independent Penn, Chinese Penn Center as well. So the Penn community has, uh, we've been following your case, well, really off and on since the late 80s you've been case for Penn. Yes, uh, because uh, all, all of my friends, they, uh, they sent messages. Hey, now you got a, a kind of word from the from many countries, and all of my friends in our country, they they're very proud of this because this is a real recognition and real encouragement for uh, our people, our Burmese people. So, uh, and uh, very shortly, I like to say very very thank you for their recognition and their encouragement and. Uh, and go to the many fools from the support. So I like to say thank you all of the Pan International. Well, we're so happy to have you out and able to speak on behalf of all the other political prisoners. I'm just wondering, are you optimistic about the future in Burma? Actually, I am always see the every case from the bright side. So we can say this is opportunity, mm -hmm. but uh, in recent time I'm a very cautious optimist. It's a, it's a very, uh, the, our country is, uh, actually our country is uh, just like an infant, and so we need more attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations and thank you so much for being here with us. Very thank you. So I'm Marion Bosford Fraser, I'm the chair of the International Pen uh, Writers and Prison Committee, and I'm here in Toronto, fortunately, finally with Sargana, who was released from uh, prison under amnesty in October last year. Yes, very thank you.